Oh, uh, hey, what's going on, man? An English judge with a gavel. They don't have gavels. Literally just doing this. Stylish and, and, and sexy. Fat people, thin people. There might be the odd good-looking one. Where's the guy with the piece of paper and the attitude? Wow. You know, just wow. Hmm. That's, that's, I find that incredible. Welcome to the Tuesday Show with CJ and Ted. <laughs> They haven't looked at all. They've just come tearing down a road out of a junction and pulled in front of you without looking. And you're like, what are you doing? And you're like, bloody hell. Nearly dropped my phone into my coffee then. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it, I've dropped my phone in the footwell for fuck's sake. (laughs) Fucking cyclist. I never text while driving, by the way. For the the listeners and viewers' benefits, I don't text while driving. Ever. It's fucking dangerous. Yeah. I've stick, done it. I've, I've done it before. I'll hold my tweeting. hands up to it. Yeah, I'll hold my hands up to it. I've done it. I have texted and emailed while driving. Um, how I've not been in a horrific accident because of it is anyone's guess. Um, I am incredibly lucky. Um, but I guess just as kind of the years have gone on and having a few near misses because of it, I've mm. just realised that it really is just is not a great idea and mm. you just shouldn't mm. do it. Mm. You know, forget about the fact that it's against the law. It's just fucking dangerous. You know, and you're going to hurt yourself and or someone else if you're not careful. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so just don't do it. it. It's it's quite straightforward, and of course, the you know, but obey the law. Yeah, you know. mm. I'm, I'm not saying don't obey the law, but you know, j- just from my own personal standpoint, it, it's you know, the legal factor obviously yes is a is a big driver, but you know, even if it wasn't, it's still a you no. Know, it's just fucking dangerous. So when I went to America, I remember when I went to America, 2013. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was driving, uh, driving up the interstate, came to a, a toll booth, um, and I'm kind of looking around whilst I'm waiting for the just a quick glance around, and so many people are on their phones, just holding it up to their ear. It's obviously yeah. not illegal in that state to do that. Yeah. Um, but I was just like, wow, you know, just wow. Mm. That's that's I find that incredible. Not not because it's illegal over here, but just the fact that people are confident enough that they can drive down the road holding a phone to their face and still remain in full control of the vehicle. Um, I'm not saying that you should, you know, everyone should drive, you know, 10 to 2, both hands on the steering wheel type thing, but, you know, if you're having a conversation while holding a phone up to your ear, you are not 100% focused on on your driving. Mm. Uh, But the same argument could be had when you're on hands-free. You're not 100% focused on your driving. You're having a conversation. Yeah, but the same um, argument could be made that if you're having a conversation with somebody who's in the car, um, exactly, you're you're not going to be focused on the road. But at least with that, you can still look around freely and check your. If you've got a phone in your hand while you're, you know, it's not as easy to well, turn you your say, head and, and look you, around. You say that. I mean, obviously, it's, it, I, you know, you mentioned hand, hands free as well. But of course, if you've got somebody in the car with you, there's a very good chance that you want to. T- you would naturally want to turn towards them to speak to them. Yeah. Absolutely, Which makes it even yeah. worse if they're, if they're sat in the back and you're in the front. Yeah, absolutely. I see if someone, I'm, I'm never turn my head, head around to look at somebody. That I'll mm. use the mirror for that. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be driving down the road like that and go, "Oh, hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But like you say, if they're in the passenger seat, absolutely, you have this natural yeah. tendency to just turn your head to talk to them. Um. Oh, again, I was watching. Uh, I was watching Reacher on Prime and there are so many scenes in it where he and other character are in the car and he's just just looking at her for like 15 20 seconds at a time I'm like yeah. look at the road look at the road look at the road look at the road <laughs> I'm just like what the fuck is going on it's like <laughs> that's <laughs> mental absolutely mental and I was like no surely that can't be accurate or a true depiction of driving down the road in America, you know, surely nobody looks away from the road for that length of time. Like, it's one of those where, it ha- you know, I get it. Some Sometimes they'll look over, but then they'll look back, and they'll, and like this. And I'm, but he's just there, and I'm like, even I'm feeling uncomfortable with that. If I was yeah, a passenger, yeah. I'd be like, hey, eyes on the fucking yeah. road. Yeah. I, it's annoying when uh, things like that happen on TV, because then that really, it distracts you from the from the plot. Yeah, you lose the immersion, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of lose the immersion. 
Yeah. I saw yeah. something I saw something the other day on TV and I thought that's not how that works and it and it kind of really put me right off. Basically it was a drama and this woman was in her house and the police turned up to effectively tell her that, you know, somebody had an accident. Right. But the lights were flashing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not no, not no, actual. I, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you've done that to demonstrate that the police are turning up yep. for a dramatic effect. But mm -hmm. what you've actually done is you've destroyed that scene. Because mm -hmm. now all I'm thinking is, why would they turn up with the blue lights flashing to give somebody a death message? Yeah. You wouldn't do that. They just wouldn't do that. No. They just wouldn't do that. But I, 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 yeah, and I'm with you on that. There, there's a, especially when it comes to law enforcement. Now, I'm not saying I know how you know full operate, operating procedures of law enforcement in any country. Mm -hmm. um, but there are certain things that I think about. Like let, let's take your your standard TV show or movie bank robbery scene. Um, I don't think for a second that if you are the first officer on scene for a bank robbery that you are turning up with lights and sirens because you're just alerting the bank robbers that you have just arrived for them mm -hmm. and you are likely to escalate that scene very quickly yeah whereas if you're the first person or even the second on you you roll up outside without your lights and sirens on and you calmly make contact. Anyone else that arrives after that, sure, have your lights going to shut down the roads or whatever. That's cool, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, still no need to have sirens going. It, it seems unnecessary, mm. an unnecessary escalation of of a potential potentially volatile situation. Mm. Um, if it was me, I wouldn't. If somebody reported a bank robbery or the old panic button was set, sure. While I'm on my way there, lights would be going to alert people that I'm in a hurry and get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. But when I'm a couple of blocks away or, you know, a couple of corners away, those lights will be turned off, you know, and then I'll pull over to the side of the road. Mm. Yeah, because I don't want to alert them that I'm there. Or I, I don't want them to panic because that's how people get shot. Yeah. yeah. If, it's, if it's an armed robbery, that is. You know? Yeah. That's how, that's, but that's how people get hurt is by startling and... um. And, and, yeah, escalating that situation unnecessarily, I think. so. Mm. I don't want to be that person that vocalises when someone goes, oh, they'd never do that. Oh, they'd never do that. I hate doing it. I hate people yeah, that do yeah, it as well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's somebody we both know quite well who is in the, the medical field. Um, regularly oh, yeah. when, when they watch... driver. Yeah, when they watch medical shows, they go, oh, they'd never do that. And I'm like, dude, it's a fucking drama. Shut <laughs> up. It's fictional. All right? It's not a documentary. It's fucking yeah. fiction. All right, yeah. Just shut up. <laughs> I, I <laughs> think, yeah, I, I, I think you've got to have a, a certain amount of artistic license. But the problem is, I think it, it does ruin it if you do know that that is not that's not how it's done. That's wrong. An English judge with a mm. gavel. Yeah, <laughs> they don't have gavels. No, nope. you just destroyed. You just destroyed your entire scene just for the effect of going. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But but the example I was about to use was that, uh, you know, I, I work in technology. Mm -hmm. um, when I see anything that involves, you know, camera footage, yep. and someone goes, oh, zoom in on that. So it zooms in, but it's all pixelated and shit. And then they go, enhance. No, no, that's not how <laughs> video works. Yeah. You know, I can zoom in for you, but you're not getting a better quality image because that's yeah. just how the image is, all right? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that that's not how it works. But I don't let it get to it. It's just that it's just for dramatic effect. Yeah. Or it's just for, you know, oh, look at us. We can do whatever. You know, fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And th I know there are technologies out there where you can clean up pixelated images. You know, it uses algorithms and AI and all that kind of stuff, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but just to, you know, just to... um sit there and go, enhance, enhance, yeah. and all of a sudden this picture becomes crystal clear. No, no, yeah. no, that's not yeah. how that works. Even yeah. close, you know, or yeah. just by randomly, I was, <laughs> I can't remember the show I was watching, but they, they were doing something on a computer, and the guy was literally just doing this on the keyboard, <laughs> and I'm just like, you're not typing anything. 
And he's like, mm, yeah, let me mm. let me just look at that for you. Click, 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 click. Yeah, this is this. Click, 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 click. Yeah, this. Yeah. And I'm like, you're doing nothing, and <laughs> you've kind of ruined again that immersion for me. But again, I'm not really paying attention to what you're actually typing. Maybe that's just me as somebody who works in technology. Yeah, you know, I understand how the technology works, so I'm paying attention to that kind of stuff. But I'm trying not to let it get to me. But still, I'm just yeah. like put in a little bit of effort. Make it at least look like you're typing. You yeah, know, rather than just mashing a fucking keyboard, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. I, I know. I know. It's all you know. They like it to look stylish and um and, and sexy. But you know, when you get the scenes where you've just got somebody who's um obviously far too attractive to be a um you know police officer or whatever it is, they'll they'll just come up to this this screen and go, okay, just a minute. Do, do, do. Lots of things will be going around this this screen. Oh yeah, the whole in the, in the, pushing things around on this. Yeah, screen. push that, push that, push that. Okay, all right. Let's just enhance and yeah. um <laughs> yeah. There's all the details we possibly need. Let's go. Yeah. Everything's right there on this yeah. see through screen. Yeah, that's a, it, it's a transparent screen like mm. well that like tech doesn't test. exist that's <laughs> not gonna work what <laughs> like where's where's the guy with the piece of paper and the attitude yeah yeah why, well that's it but why is why is there not you know stacked on the desk in front of them you know stacks of files and folders full of paper because you yeah. know you know we we still work on paper for uh, for the most part you know yeah because you can never beat a hard copy yeah, you you can't tamper, or you can't. Uh, yeah, you can't tamper with a hard copy. Yeah, so we can, but yeah. That's but it always it it just looks like it's I don't know some sort of I don't know some swish office in some kind of startup, uh, some tech startup. But it's supposed to be a, a you know CID. Yeah. It's like where, there should be a guy in the cor- there should be a guy in the corner trying to eat an unfeasibly large sandwich as well, but you, you don't get those sorts of things in those shows. I think that that might be one of the reasons why I like shows like Brooklyn Nine Nine. I know it's a sitcom, mm. um, but when you kind of picture a, a police precinct or police station and the the detectives or CID as we call it here, you know their office, it is just a bunch of desks full of paperwork. With people trying to eat, you know, an uncomfortably large sandwich, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, fat people, thin people, mm. you know, there might be the odd good-looking one, but they're generally just kind of mediocre mm. or whatever. You know, I quite like that because I guess it's sort of accurate, even though it is all parody. Yeah, you know, the actual placement and the the surroundings look what I would cons- that's how exactly how I would picture a detective's office. Yeah, you know, it's just a bunch of desks, um, and with shit loads of paperwork everywhere. Mm. Yeah, like you say, not this fancy swish Google looking place mm. with uh, exercise balls as chairs. Um, <laughs> people do that. People sit on exercise balls as a chair because because apparently it's good for your back. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, screw that. I want a nice, comfortable chair. Thank you. Yeah, I want to in the middle of the day just flick a lever below my seat and be able to lean back without falling off you know that's uh that's what it's about yeah much uh much like this much like this see ya ah yeah see comfortable yeah oh hang on if i if i wheel myself this way oh because i can lean back and uh and still be on mic as well Uh, good good luck editing this (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean though it's that that that's what I, I picture not this fucking you know fucking pretty much a yoga studio with computers in it <laughs> you know? but yeah I'm trying to think if there's any other shows I've seen recently that, that make me question the, the realism but then again, I understand that for the most part, it is fiction. It's you know, it's not real. It's dramatization. It's glamorization. In some cases, sexualization. It's just how the world is. You know. Mm. That was the Tuesday show. Get in touch with us. All the links are in the description. And until next time, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>